Hello and welcome to Access 2013 tutorials. In this video I'm going to explain to you what a Cartesian product is and we're going to need this to create the uh, booking scheduler that we have been creating. So if you want to play along uh, follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB57 and open that up. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we were doing and why we might need this Cartesian product. What we were doing was creating a scheduler form with the dates along the top and we're going to add text boxes in here which correspond to each date and we're going to ask a question on the 8th of October in room 201 was there a guest and we're going to use a DLOOKUP to determine that and the DLOOKUP is going to need to look up a record in a query and if the record exists then it's going to say yeah there's a guest if it doesn't exist then it won't simple as that right but the problem we've got is booking details doesn't store one record per day it's just one record per time period so what we're going to need to do is called we're going to need to explode this table now that's as much as I'm going to tell you about why we need to do this I'm going to start by focusing on what a Cartesian product is which is the first step okay so if we go to create and click on query design and let us choose um, well, let's take booking details would be a good one to take okay so if we typically add a table into a query and then we let's take a couple of uh, records and we press run obviously we get every single row or every single record returned the only restriction we've actually placed is we've only taken three of the fields now if we then add let's say table bookings in here we've got a join and then if I add a uh, booking date here press run what we do is we get every single record from both tables where they're equal which means where there's a, a record in table bookings well it, as it's a one to many there'll be uh, if I use booking ID here it's we'll get every single record where we've got a booking IDFK in table booking details now as it happens every single record in table booking details has a booking IDFK so we get every single record back but there has been a restriction placed on that um, and that's the nature of joins and in mathematical terms it's to do with sets and whatnot but you don't need to worry too much about that now what happens if we get rid of table bookings and we show let's have a look uh, let's say table reports before we run the query there are only two records in table reports and obviously they've got nothing to do with each other really um, but what would happen if we use table reports and we don't create a join how many records do we get we get 28 records so why do we get 28 records well when we don't create a join between two tables in access what it does is it takes every single record from one table and it multiplies it by every single record from the other table so if I were to sort this ascending it would be a bit more obvious what's happened here remember there's only two records in table reports report guest activity and report guest summary and everything here is report guest activity mixed with every single record from table booking details so number 10 up to number 12 obviously not in the correct order actually no it's more isn't it 10 when does 10 repeat 15 15 oh that's a jolly good mess that's my smallest to largest uh, okay it's not obvious at all let's move that over here and then do that okay right now we got it okay so report guest activity there goes from a book and ID detail 3 up to 16 and then we can also see the report guest summary has done exactly the same thing book and ID 3 up to 16 so it's literally taken like I said every single record from table booking details and multiplied it by everything from 
table report name. So at the moment there's 28 records. Quick question, how many records do you think there would be if we added um, another record into table reports? And if anyone chose 42, you would be correct, because if we added another record, we would have three records in table reports, which would be multiplied by 14 records in table booking details, and 3 times 14 is 42. And this is the way Cartesian products work. Um, a lot of people think this is a bug. It, it really isn't a bug. It's actually, uh, it has its origins in the way in which structured query language originated, but it's kind of useful. Um, and in the coming couple of videos I'm going to show you how useful it is. If you're still a little bit confused about it, Google Cartesian product um, SQL or even just Cartesian product will give you the information you need um, and uh, yeah that's it so now we've looked at that I shall see you in the next video.